Hello and welcome to another Bybit tutorial. I had the question if it is possible to set both a stop loss and a trailing stop loss. How to set each of them I was already explained in previous tutorials, but I haven't really answered the question if it's possible to set both of them. And I want to show you that it is possible and how you do it. Um, I'm currently on the USDT perpetual uh, contract here. It's futures trading dashboard on Bybit. I did open a long position here, just sort of a, a small order to show you how it actually um, works. I did open this long without a stop loss. I opened it at a price of 16,057,350 and I want to add a normal stop loss. So if I could just to keep it simple, I can either put a price in here that I want to be stopped out at 16,400 maybe, yeah, or alternatively, I can just select that I want the stop loss to be 5% below um, the price. Yeah, so last traded price, 5% down is what will trigger here the stop loss or 10%, 25%, but then it's quite far away. Then you need to be very careful with your position size if you have it quite far away. Um, you can also play around with this. I wouldn't recommend it, just leave it at last traded price. But I would always recommend just to trade your, uh, just to put a stop loss in at a defined level where you have identified a, a certain technical target in the charts that you think if we drop below that level will lead to much further downside. So that's where you set your stop loss. Here we can just for demo purposes six, set it at 16,400, which would be around about 1% away um, and lead to a 1% loss um, of the last traded price. So let's do that. In addition to that, you can see here trading stop. So I can still add that as well. This will be always a um, an actual retracement of the price in USDT. So basically what it means, if BTC, USDT, if the contract declines by a certain value, the stop loss will get triggered. So the advantage of having both is that I could set my stop loss in a, at a fixed level. Um, and then whatever I could go, you know, I could go on holiday. I could just be away for a few days. I can, you know, even when I go to bed and I'm day, a day trader, I can leave the trade open if it's in profit. Don't need to worry that if it suddenly goes up in some kind of a fake move and then very, very strongly comes down again, that it will um, and breaks down that I, I didn't take any of that profit with me. So that's the purpose of the trailing stop, or at least one of the purposes. So let's say Bitcoin suddenly moves in a fake move to 17.3K and breaks down to 16K again. My, my stop loss, my regular stop loss would trigger, but at a loss. And I would have missed, I would wake up in the morning, see, oh dear, the price really rallied. I could have taken all that profit. So that's the idea of a trading stop loss. So for example, I could say if I, if, if I, if Bitcoin retraces $150, I want it to trigger. Yeah, even before the actual stop loss is reached. So it will move with the price and be basically, yeah, I, I don't want to say guarantee because it depends on what, what level it actually triggers, but it will trigger, uh, it, no, it will depend on what level it actually executes then, but it will trigger $150 um, of the last traded price. So the stop loss will be triggered, as it says down there, when the last traded price retraces from the best price by $150. So um, that means if Bitcoin goes to 17,300 and then suddenly retraces to 17,150, this one will trigger. Yeah, which doesn't mean the order will be executed straight away. You know, it needs to find a buyer if I sell this at that price, but it will be in that region. So that's how I set that um, trailing stop. I click confirm and then I've got them both here. I can easily take them out by clicking on that little um, rubber icon here, confirm, and then the stop losses are being taken out again. Um, I would always recommend to have a stop loss though, especially when you're trading futures or margin trading, but that's how you do it. And then I can close the order again as well. But yeah, that's basically just the answer. If you can actually set both kinds of stop losses and yes, it's possible actually in a fairly simple way on Bybit. So um, yeah, hope you liked the tutorial. If you want to support the channel and you're not on Bybit yet, you can use the affiliate link in the video description to sign up if you're interested. Um, sometimes they offer a bonus or sign up bonus so when people uh, sign up with an affiliate link. They don't always do that. So it changes like every week, every, every month. So um, best to check that out when you click on the link. Other than that, I hope you liked the tutorial. 
If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.